Yeah. Hello. Who is it? Oh, hello. Yeah, I got your message. So, what do you want me to do? Hmm. So, what do I get if I do that? Hmm. Alright, hello. I will do that. Oh. It's gonna be a lot of work to do. So, I better do it right now. Hmm. One hour later. Whew. Finally, I got it. I better call Alo right now. Hmm. Alo, I got your message. I finally finished it. So what do you want me to do right now? Oh, all right. I will write in a laptop. <gasps> yes. Whoa. Hi guys. Enjoy the video. I show you what. Wonder what is Busu doing and how he did it. Don't worry, I will let my partner to explain this for you. Wonder who I am? For K1, I'm going to find the inverse matrix using the adjoint method. Firstly, you are going to find the determinant for the matrix K1. For this step, I chose row 1 to expand. Since 1 is in row 1 and column 1, we are going to cover the first column and first row and then copy the element that not been covered and write it in the form of determinant for 3 by 3 matrix. Then, we will do the same for other elements in row 1, which is 5, 2, and 4. Remember to put the corresponding sign for each element in row 1. We are going to do the same step to get the determinant for each matrix. Here, I expand along row 1. Then, simplify to get the determinant of matrix K1. Next step is to find the cofactor. We are going to set up the minus. For the first entry, we are going to eliminate the first row and first column. So, we got 2, 4, 5, 1, 1, 3, 4, 4, 4. Do the same for other entries. Remember to put the sign for each entry. Apply trick for 3 by 3 matrix that gives us the following matrix. Then, transpose this matrix to get the adjoint matrix. Lastly, substitute the determinant of K1 and adjoint matrix of K1. The answer is the inverse of K1. To decrypt the message, we multiply matrix P with the inverse of K1. From this, we know that K1 is not the answer because we can't transform the number into the alpha alphabet. For K2, the message is not correct. This is because in row 4, when row 4 is minus with 3 row 1, the all row 4 matrix becomes 0. So, the determination of matrix is 0 because of row 4 consists so rely of 0. So, the matrix has no inverse. That's why the message is not correct. To find the inverse of K3, we have to change the matrix on the left side become the matrix on the right side by using elementary row operation. Let us begin with the first column. The first row is divided by 5 to change 5 into 1. Then to get 0 for the next 3 row for the first column, uh, the second row minus with 3 times of the first row for the second row, third row minus first row for the third row, and fourth row minus with minus 2 times of first row for the fourth row. After that, we move, the, move to the second column and change it to 0, 1, 0, 0. Then convert the third column to 0, 0, 1, 0. And last column to 0, 0, 0, 1 by using the same method. Now the metric is on the right side is the inverse of K3. Next, multiply the inverse of K3 with the metric P to get a new matrix. When this matrix transform to alphabet, we get a secret message which is Asasi Pertanian. Since this message is a meaningful message, so we can conclude that this message is a correct message.